I've come to King's Lynn in Norfolk to meet Sean, David, and their three dogs. Hello, are you Hi. Sean and David? Yeah. yeah. Nice to come meet you. Come on in. Thank you. They met in 2004 and married two years later. Sean took control of the purse strings from the start. So, Sean, you, you initiated the relationship. I wanted him bad. <laughs> <laughs> what was it about David that you wanted so badly? He was Welsh and his surname was Jones. David's the breadwinner and takes home around £28,000 a year working for the RAF. Sean does occasional shifts in a pharmacy and rules the family finances with a rod of iron. This is where it begins. <laughs> She keeps records of their outgoings on everything from food to the dogs. The pets. In 2008, you spent £2,600 on the dogs. Yeah, but that doesn't include um, any of the vet stuff or the insurance. That is more that's than your food on, bill. Yeah, that's just on treats, food and toys. They'll get steak and I'll get sausages. Correct. <laughs> Sean doesn't just dictate what David eats. She takes his salary and gives him back pocket money. We decided to sell it at 50 quid a month. It's 50 quid a month? No. That's for everything he wants. 50 quid a month? Yeah. <laughs> when they first met, David spent the weekends rally driving. But with just 50 quid in his pocket, the brakes have been applied to his hobby. But Sean's perfectly happy to pay up for her pampered pooches. They get six times as much spent on them every month. What's that? The bottom leg of a cow. What are you getting? It's only three dogs. Yeah, so I'm going to get six. <laughs> How much? Yeah. No. A seven and a half minutes worth of fun. Exactly. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's seven pound fifty. That's like less than an hour's wage, it's fine. But it all adds up though. So <laughs> Is that the like look? That? Is that yeah. the look you give? Yeah, generally. <laughs> As a man who lives on fifty pounds a month, what is seven pounds fifty to you? <laughs> it can be quite a lot, quite easily. She's mad. Be you the bridge on it, though? Really? No, not really. There you go. <laughs> they always win. <laughs> Back home, I get to see just where that £300 a month goes. Wow. Oi. This is an actual room for the dogs. It's yeah. their own room. This is love. Isn't it? Totally. Maybe David could have more treats if the dogs had fewer. Do you think 50 quid is enough? It seems very small. I think if I was him and I wanted to do the things that he wanted to do, then no, it wouldn't be enough. But from my point of view, it's plenty. What I'm hearing from that is, like, you don't care that much. No, not particularly. If it I don't do a lot unless it benefits me. If he stood up to you a bit more, that you would accept that and understand that he was being fair, or would you resist it and go in a strop and...? I'd resist it for a very long time, and I'd strop a lot. I know he has said no to me about getting a fourth dog, but I'll wear him down, eventually. Sean's power seems to depend on denying David things, the less money he has access to, the more powerful she becomes. I want to know how he feels about this. Wow. Is this your pride and joy? It is indeed, yeah. Do you like playing on it? There are no seats. Somebody's no, stolen all the seats. One of the many things to buy on a car. <laughs> so, do you spend a lot of time working on your car? I have done. I'm not so much at the moment because I'm just trying to get the cash together to be able to finish off because the last few bits are expensive bits. Do you agree with Sean's distribution of the money? Do you think that the dogs should have so many toys and snacks and grooming? No, they're dogs at the end of the day. They don't need so much. But she sees them as kids. Does it in any way annoy you 
No, not really. Because I've just, I've just, the way I was brought up is the man is the one that goes out and works, and the women are the one that looks after the home. Thanks so much, guys. Right, see you later. Bye. See you Bye. soon. Bye. Well, I've definitely been left with little doubt as to who rules that roost.